Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Liam and this is Junior Genius TV. Today, I'll be showing you how to make this awesome water tornado fountain. I have these popsicle sticks and this one cup will make a super cool vortex fountain. I also am Using this idea from the King of Random. Thank you, King of Random. This is an amazing idea. So, I have this acrylic little container with the little hinges and the clips here. I'm gonna use my little pliers. Take this off. This little lid off. That should slide out. Here's the hardware, it's gone. Now we have just the acrylic little vase. I'm gonna call it a vase. Now I have this little lid from a Cool Whip little container. It fits perfectly on here. So this is basically what the setup is gonna look like. The main setup here. It has the container the lid and the cup. Now, I'm gonna show you, I also have a pump that I bought from like Ace Hardware or Home Depot for like 13 bucks. This thing is like, a, it's a little bit heavy duty because it has these, uh, the two prongs and the ground wire too. So if the, the negative wire from one of the prongs goes out, the ground wire starts up. So that's extra heavy duty. But this is just like the smallest size pump you could get for like a little fish tank. It has the valve that you open and close. So that's the pump that I'm gonna be using for this acrylic base. Now, I have straws, something straws, here. The straws are, I just bought these off of Amazon. These are bendy straws. Here's a blue one. This is my favorite color. A blue bendy straw. Now that fit right into the pump, like so. Like this. Now, I'm gonna want to take, just, I wanna look at the number one in the lid, right on the tip of that number one is the center of it, of the cup. So I'm gonna use kind of the black drill bit. I'm gonna use this drill bit and this little piece of wood here. And I'm going to attach this to my drill. Now I'm gonna try to get the center of the cup in it. That looks about it. Okay, so there's the hole in the cup right here. Now it's watertight, but now I have to get it to fit on the pump. As you can see, it fits in the pump, and the pump should fit in the little thing here. But it's a little bit too long. But before I hook it up to the pump, I need to drill the holes in the cool whip top. Now, it should be about here is a good area. So, I'm gonna Take the drill and the lid. I'm gonna see here, like about here is a good place for it to be. And then Should be able to fit in the 
it's going to start coming together. Now, I'm going to see how much of the straw I need to cut off. So I have my measuring tape here, and I'm just going to slide this in the hole. Just slide in like that. And I'm going to measure how long. It's about two inches. I'm going to start with two inches. Let's see how much I need to cut after that. So that's two inches right there. I'm just going to cut a little bit over the measure tape. So. Yes. Perfect. But now, this hole, click right in. Just slide in, actually. This goes here. There you go. Now, it attaches to this, but when I put it down in, let's see if I can get this wire moved up a little bit. And I put it down in the container. I like it coming off of the lip. I'm gonna cut a little lip here. The King of Random drilled in here and cut the wire and then spliced it together. I don't wanna risk my being broken. So I'm gonna attach it to the pump. Now, it should be a little bit over this sitting on the lid. So I'm just gonna cut maybe half an inch off of it because this is at least half an inch. So half an inch off. Now attach it to here. This goes here. Perfect. Okay, I use my Dremel to cut a notch instead of the hacksaw because it's a little bit faster. Now, I should just use my little pliers to just make this part off. The wire doesn't fit. Okay, it fits. Good. Now I need to put some extra wire in here, just in case. It'll sit right here, like so. Now I need a hot glue. This piece of wire. rest here. All this is glued on here tightly. Why don't I just get a little clip? I'm going to get a clip and I'm going to clip it on here until it dries. I'm at the outlet and now I'm going to plug it in and see how it works. Okay. That looks good. Love it. It's a good go vortex. So there it is. There is our tornado. Let's see if it goes over top. Yes. Perfect. I'm so excited it worked. So now I'm going to make it like a planker box like the King of Random did and I'm going to put some popsicle sticks all around it. I don't have to cut it because I got a little, dip, a little bit taller planker box or little acrylic vase. I'm going to call it a vase or container. So I, I don't even have to stress about cutting it. I just glue it on there. So I'll see you when I have all my little popsicle sticks glued.
glued the cup to the lid with the holes in it. Now I want to take my pump. First I have to drain out the water before I put my hands in it. And then I have to move the pump and I'll get it centered where the straw is going to go into it without bending. And I'll see you when I did that. Now I hot glued the rim to the base of the planker box here. And I also hot glued the cup to the lid, which is glued to the base. Now, you can, you, you can do it yourself or you can help get help from a brother or sister or family member or just a friend to help you put your rocks. It, it, it's optional to have rocks. I bought this for like $3 or $10 off of Amazon. So you can just put them on the put them and stack them on these little caps you have. better to have teamwork than one person doing it because there are a lot of rocks stack on here and it's hard to stack them on. That's really nice. That looks good. So if you stack them up one by one, it's a little bit easier to put them on there. But that looks good enough. That looks good. Okay, let's stop. One here, okay. Now let's plug it in and see how it works with all these rocks in here. That's a really good tornado. I like it. I like it really well. So this is a more powerful pump than what the King of Random used. So it has a bigger, wider tornado. It's more what I expected. If I'm right, it should slip through the rocks. If it doesn't, I'm screwed. Oh, good! It works! That is a good tornado. But now, I'm gonna do what he did and put some blue food color in it. Okay, let's see. So I have the blue food coloring. And I'm just gonna drop it right in the tornado. Oh wow. Let's see if I can do one last drop. Very cool. That's good blue. That's a good blue fountain. Okay, so. This is the Vortex Fountain. I love the finished product of it. It looks amazing. You can buy this for like $30, $40 on Amazon with all the parts to it. So I love it, it's amazing. I bet you, I, w I want to see all of you do this in the comment below. Comment, put some pictures of how you did this and I hope you like it. Bye guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video when I have no idea.